This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi, everybody. Hi. Morning, people. We found out where Sean went just a tiny bit wrong with his Mother's Day gift buying. He yeah. was so close so to close. being great. Yeah. So close. We talk about how easy childbirth is. We <laughs> <You> did. <laughs> Big Pav joins us for a bit of a chat about uh, Mother's Day and a whole lot of other kids' sport. And why the hashtag blow up Australia is not as bad as it sounds. We're going to catch up with Stephen Curry. This is Nathan Nat and Sean. We good. Yeah. On Nova 937. Let's go. It's four past six. Nathan Nat and Sean. Happy Monday. Isn't it just? Oh, hey? oh, we love Mondays around here. Saw Harry this morning. I said oh, I could have slept for a couple of days. You know those times yeah, we yes. ride in the zone. Oh and Nathan, yeah, we you, know. You're not feeling well at all. So. No, I could have slept for two weeks. Mm. But that's okay. Uh, just rather be here, right? I'm that's just right. So enjoy being at work and just soaking in your company at mm. this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice of you to say so. Yeah. Thank you. No, yeah. and it felt heartfelt yeah. and sincere. <laughs> yeah, it really, it really. <laughs> Uh, is it cold or hot today? What's no, 21. Okay. Nah, it's beautiful so this 21 week. Partly it's like cloudy. stormy, then okay, then stormy, then okay. Yeah, yeah well, the seasons are changing. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Um, but we're going to hit 25 and 26 by the oh, late, late this week, so that's a little bit of How good. summer still hanging in there. East northeasterlies, yeah. Yeah. As we prepare to go to the lodge in Canberra. <laughs> where? Yeah, what are we going to do? What do you think there? it's going to be there? Okay, let me What's tell you what print? it is there now. Um, um, bear with me. I remember when I uh, first went to Canberra, we, I was playing footy over there and I was wearing two jumpers every game. Yeah. <laughs> and we were well, kicking things off at like 8 in the morning. Like, and oh, and you're running morning. around playing football. Yeah. yeah. It's currently 6.5. It feels like 3.6. Um, a minimum of four there this morning. So I went, um, went looking for like large winter overcoats. And I, then I'm just laughing because really the only time it's going to be cold is when you're like outside yes. getting into a cab. But for some reason, apparently I feel we're like, like we're three going to Alaska. Minutes the <laughs> um, so by Friday, a minimum of minus two. <laughs> a minimum of minus two, two, maximum of fourteen. I just love fresh. the minuses. Yeah. And that's Australia's capital city. Yeah. They picked oh, a, a good spot, didn't they? I know, the sun doesn't even like want to go maybe, there. Oh, no. maybe, maybe pop it near the coast, eh? Yeah. 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 A little bit warmer, so. eh? Okay, well, what about that? Maybe pop it near the coast. <laughs> um, on the show today, Stephen Curry is going to join us, the host of yep. Blow Up Australia. Mm. Um, a very special round of last quarter today as mm. well. Last quarter where? What happens? What to do you win the to last do? quarter. You must win, win the, the last, last quarter. quarter. God, gosh. And then mm-hmm. a, a brand new thing we're featuring this week called A Sky Full of Stars. That's a Coldplay song, isn't it? God, that sounds yes. like Why? that would be how you'd win Coldplay tickets. Natalie, stop it. You just won Coldplay tickets. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> If it's time for a winter trip, jump on What If, the place to go for quick Aussie getaways. Oh, I reckon it'd be a hotel staycation for me. For accommodation, flights and more, book on the What If app. What If, it's Aussie for travel. We've just been talking about uh, some surprising trips to the hospital. Yeah, yeah they can come up at any stage yeah. and mm, there's yeah. always um, things yeah. that happen when you're there. Yeah, well, I mean, it happened last weekend. Um, Saturday morning, a girl named Ashley Wilson, so she was just in her lounge room and she thought that was something wrong and there was yes. a lot of pain. And She'd experienced a bit of bloating yeah. and discomfort in yeah. the lead up to this. She'd been to the doctor about it. They yeah. told her to eat more fruit. Eat more fruit, they said. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, the pain got so intense, she did what you should do and that is she called um, the emergency um, hotline. Yep. And triple zero. And, <laughs> the emergency um, hotline. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I find it really hard it's to put words hotline. together today. <laughs> I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> anyway, this is the emergency call, right? By the way, yes, she is pregnant and she doesn't know. Yep. Um, Nor does the, the doctor who told her to eat more fruit. Can I just say, aware. like, I understand any woman that has ever told me it hurts giving birth and you just go, oh, yeah, no worries. I've never actually been, like, I've never actually experienced what the pain would be like and this is this is an example of that and firstly, I'd like to say I don't want it. Yeah. Um, and then secondly, I'd like to say I, I wouldn't want it no, um, without knowing that I've got a baby Yeah, that's right. So yeah, she yeah, doesn't yeah. know she what's doesn't causing know. She's this like, she's pain. got this intense pain, which is the, 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 the process of giving birth, but she doesn't know that that's happening to her. So um, here she is. She's not having the best time. Tell me exactly what's happened. You said you've got lower pain in your... Oh, it's right now. Oh, it's okay. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm just sitting on the toilet because it feels like something's trying to come out, but there's nothing there and it just hurts. 
No, there was something. Whoa, oh, the there was a baby Tiny there. Baby. Can you imagine <laughs> sitting on that toilet going, something's trying to come out. <laughs> and knowing it's bigger than a poo. We've all been in that situation. <laughs> I, know, like, like, oh, I don't think, think you have, I, Sean. I, I know it's, I know this is medically possible, but I am a man about to give birth to something. Gonna, whatever's happening today, I will raise it for the next 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember. So my wife's had caesareans. Yes. So um, that's a whole different thing and, and pain afterwards. But I still remember the moment my sister gave birth, and she was only 20 at the time, yes. I think, Kel. And I was the first one to the hospital, and it was at Eastern Manor Hospital, which is now closed yeah. Oh, Kalia, yes, uh, yes. No, Woodside, oh, Woodside. Side, that. yeah, That's yeah, how long gotcha. ago. I'd come from Eastman Oval, which is literally 200 metres, and yes. I ran there. I was the first one there. And she was in the theatre, but this other girl got wheeled in in a wheelchair, and she was screaming. I, I've never seen a knife attack ever. <laughs> right, I've never seen that. <laughs> but that would be the sound that I can imagine, that if someone was getting stabbed multiple times over and over, to death, that that's what would be like. I think, I think we should welcome yeah. Amy to yeah. the microphone. Amy. Amy, how many years to the day since you went into labour? Today, so... Six six years ago, and six years, three hours, I gave birth to Charlotte at 3.17. And she was early, six so she ago, was a right bit of a surprise. Today. So you went oh, into wow. labour. Nearly four weeks early. Yeah. You'd only literally just gone on and that leave, that, hadn't you? That, hearing that, literally... Gets you going. <laughs> Makes you dilate. It's too, it's too close to home, guys. Like, you didn't have any pain so relief, did you? No, like I this didn't. woman, I so didn't she didn't have the any, opportunity yeah, either. The same, so natural too birth. Too quick. Correct. I just can't so even handle that. It, it, there, there's no words to explain yeah. the pain. But also... And, and yeah, it, it literally does feel like you need to go to the toilet. That's the feeling. And there's the feeling of the... Uh, I imagine the feeling of the whatever's coming out, the baby coming yes. out. But also the... Contract. She explained contraction because it's like every muscle in your abdomen, yes, lower is, body, is contracting against your will. You've got no control. Correct. So is it like having one of those electric machines on you? So, yes. like, so, oh, so yeah. imagine or a, that. a cramp. Is it like yeah, a cramp? Yeah, it, it's like a cramp, like a, a like a almost like a, a dull pain. Like it's yeah, just and the intensity, pain yeah. and the intensity of it. And like you said, you don't know when it's happening. So yes. it's about, and then it happens and. It may last for seconds. It may last that little bit longer, and you're just like you don't know. You just have to breathe through it because you can't stop it. That's the horrible yeah. thing. You can't stop the pain. Whatever you believe in, a higher power, God, whatever. Yep. You just think I would have designed this system a bit better. <laughs> don't you, don't you think, cause they know that everyone's going to do it probably multiple times. They're not everyone, but you know a lot yeah, of people yeah. are going to do it multiple times. You would have thought, okay, well, that, okay, the first, we've tried it out. She seems like she's in a bit of pain. The, let's the, the let's go back and work sucks. it out a bit <laughs> and just make it a bit easier because like. You know, because I mean, like, I, I'm not to take it, uh, the emphasis away from the woman, but she's really panicking the husband here. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Oh, sometimes they pass out because it's too much for them. Poor thing. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat, and Sean. Nova's 10K a day in May. Oh my God, oh my God, 10K a day in May. A guaranteed 10K winner every weekday. All right, time to put some people in the running to win today's 10K a day in May. Let's go up to Wanneroo and have a chat to Anita. Good morning, Anita. Good morning, how are you? Great, Anita. Was it a successful Mother's Day yesterday? It was, it was. Spent the day with the kids at uh, footy as well, so that was good. <laughs> yeah. What a treat for you, Mum. <laughs> what did you get at the footy? Did you get celebrated by the team or, um, you know, bought a hot dog at the canteen? Oh, we, we got some cookies, which was lovely, and they did the little umpire appreciation too, which was nice. So, nice. yeah. What present did we get? Uh, we got tickets to Disney on Ice. So sounds for the whole great. family. That's, 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 that's not, not a for treat you, Mum. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? What about Hopefully a nice watch or something? Right now. <laughs> you don't want that. Well, she has to take the kids. <laughs> oh, and my husband this week uh, for, for Mother's Day, uh, he paid the power bill. <laughs> yeah. Because he said, "I love electricity." He said, "You're always using it." <laughs> I'm going to use that. that. Later. I love that's that you oh, think that's, well. that's great. You've been stitched up, Roy. It, it, was, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Oh, yeah, sure 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 enough. Enough. Sure if you win this 10K, you are to spend it all on yourself and oh nobody God. else, OK? Jeez, mate. To pay somebody um, else okay. to take the kids I do to hope, Disney on ice. I do hope your husband's listening. <laughs> Thanks, Anita. Bernadette, hello. Good morning, guys. Hey, Hi, Bernadette. Bernie. Bernadette. How was your Mother's Day? 
Oh, I had a great time. I went shopping. I bought myself clothes. I went and had a pedicure. Good girl. I didn't see my kids because they live abroad. Oh, oh perfect. Right. This is the perfect scenario. Well, you quick, treated yourself. Quick FaceTime and you're done. <laughs> Quick FaceTime yeah. and we're done. And they said they don't need to buy me presents because I buy presents for myself. Yes. It's, oh, Marley oh, Cyrus. I'm glad they, I'm glad they looked at the situation <laughs> and, and, <laughs> no, no, and made that assessed. decision. <laughs> Just saving on the postage. <laughs> they live right. abroad, Nathan. Yes. You're right. You can post things. You're right. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Bernadette, what would you do if you won 10K? I'd probably go and take a plane over to see them. One lives in Berlin and the other one lives in London. Yeah, so go, go over and get the year's worth of presents they owe you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're in the running, Bernadette. Money. Good luck, OK. Yeah, Bernadette. And number three caller for this occasion, Brent. Hello. Good morning. How are we all? Hey, good, Brent. Brent. Brent, mother in your life. Uh, yes. Yes, mother, wife, mother-in-law. Yep. Did yep. you turn it on, Brent? Did you turn it on for them? Uh, no, well my, well, my wife, she uh, buys her own sort of stuff, so that's fine. That all got delivered beforehand, yeah. and then the kids done very well at school. So uh, it was What about for unreal. your mum? Uh, yeah, just a dressing gown, slippers, all the rest of it. <laughs> did you buy it or did your wife buy it? No, 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 the wife bought it. <laughs> so, so you basically did so nothing, So you've done Brent. nothing. You did you've nothing. done nothing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, preoccupied at the house, doing a little project at the house. So, yes, I... Uh, I yeah. Yeah. He's doing... He's bu- You're building fine, a man Brent. You're fine, Brent. You're fine. No, he's completely busy. Hey, Brent, do you know what your wife bought herself? That was... A, that was yeah, a couple of jumpers, mate, from Jagged. A couple oh, of Jagged jumpers. Oh, yeah, yeah Jagged, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. The girls well, are going, yeah. All the girl, well, that's, that's the, the best present we've had anyone buy them. That's the uh, Rebecca Judd brand. There you go. Oh, OK. There you go. Well, there you go. Dude, dude. Cheers, Juddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cheers, Juddy. Just made her a little bit richer, yeah. Brent. Well yeah. done. Go on, thank yeah. Juddy for the price they cost. <laughs> I'm guessing they're not expensive. They're not cheap. Uh, yeah. uh, you can you can get good deals. There's often like three for ninety nine bucks and stuff. Oh, really? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like Jack yeah. shirts. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you're in the running, Brent. Good luck. <laughs> Keep your phone handy. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel could be calling you back today to make your ten k richer. Nathan, Nat, and Sean in podcast form. Time to welcome to the show. Well, he's just a bit of a fixture on our screens, but he's got a new gig and it's hosting Blow Up, which premieres tonight on Channel 7 at 7.30. Stephen Curry, welcome back to the show. Hello. So nice to be back with you guys. How are you going? Yeah, Yeah, really good, Stephen. Stephen. Mm, We're a bit scared about what's going to happen after tonight's uh, premiere episode, though, because I do know that hashtag blow up Australia (laughs) might get your house raided. Problematic. Stephen (laughs) Curry. Well, it is. It's the one job I've done um, throughout my career that you can't talk about on a plane. (laughs) Um, I try. Someone asked me the other day um, when I was flying up. Sydney, what are you doing lately? And I said, blowing up Australia. Oh, and they, oh they don't Australia. like it. No. They, they get all weird. I know. I Couldn't they have like called it. it ballooning around or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> ballooning okay. around would have been a better name for it. Yeah. Um, or get blowing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> get blowing. Get blowing. I mean, look, you know, I, I know, I'm very happy that you guys haven't brought out a pun yet. Hasn't yeah. a, there hasn't been one balloon Sneaky pun. Sneaky blowy. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> the right there. Well done, Nathan. Always the line. It was more just something to get taken off the air. Just a like, single entendre, yeah. I think. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Stephen, I'm wondering about this because, um, you know, we've seen you on so many um, shows and movies along yes. the journey where you're acting right, but in this... You're just being mm. Stephen Curry, the host. So mm. this mm. this is completely mm. different. We thought that was Bernard's job. Yeah, well, I thought it was Bernard's job too. But then I thought, you know what? My moustache does most of the work in this show. <laughs> yeah, so I nice. just kind of what I did is I I grew a big, mm. big, dirty, stinky moustache, mm. and uh, and I figured, you know, that way I'll get more respect. What are you? Is it working? I think so. I think yeah. so. I think you're the magnum PI of the Australian TV scene. <laughs> well, I've been aiming at that, for? but that, that's, yep. that's how I'm described in yep. IMDb. Yep. So that's, I know. Um, that's I know. great. We need I to find you a Higgins. <laughs> yeah. It's Becky Lucas, your Higgins. <laughs> Becky <laughs> Lucas, here's my Higgins. And the thing is, no, it's, it's great, but Becky Lucas and I were basically given the job to try and just not get in the way. And we failed miserably at that because we love getting in people's way and slowing things down, basically. Mm. Mm. Yeah, can I just say the, the, the things that these people make are up. they are out of balloons, like un, unbelievable. But I, I do really. There was one guy on there, and he's um, like very good at it, and he tells everyone he's very good at it. And um, yeah. he yep, talks that's about Matt yeah, and he talks about yeah. um, how um, he knows it isn't for others, but in his mind, this sh- TV show existing is the biggest thing ever to happen in Australia. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it's the biggest thing to happen since uh, it's bigger than Federation. Yeah. And now, I mean, Federation was pretty big. Like it was a big moment. Yeah. I wasn't around for it, but no. I believe it was pretty big. Your moustache was um, though, but, so that's good. Look, no, but Matt Balloon's a good example of how much these guys live and breathe balloons. School of thought says they should have probably done some other things in their life. <laughs> but the good thing is they haven't, and so now they are so ridiculously talented that there's a show around them. So, you know, there's, uh, there's win-win all, all right across the board. Yeah, and um, the other thing about this show is you, you're able to get outside, though. You're just not in the studio the whole time, Stephen. Uh, that's it. Well, you know, we do use uh, Melbourne's iconic laneways for one of our episodes, yeah. uh, a bit of street art. It's a new take on street art. But, um, yeah, we are in the studio for most of it, and um, and we're in, in the Baloctagon, as I like to call it. Baloctagon? Uh, <laughs> and, and, yeah, well, it didn't last. The producers said, don't ever say that again. So anyway, <laughs> on, uh, commercial radio. They can't sack me. What are they going to do, sack me? Yeah, yeah exactly. Sack me now, Come and get me. Mm. Mm. But the other yeah, really great yeah. thing about it is... The other really great thing about it is if you let go of it, when they do it with stuff with helium, because apparently helium is very hard to work yep. with. If yeah, um, very like suddenly you can see someone making something and next minute they turn around, they've forgotten and let go of it. It goes up into the roof <laughs> and then they have to start one. again. <laughs> well, that's kind of that is one of the that's one of the problems. That's why helium is so hard to to um, to work with because it will fly away on you if you if you let it go. So. There was a, there is a great catch actually. One of our yeah. one of our artists, uh, Nicole Bruzic, that was one of the great catches uh, in television history when one of her one of her helium uh, artworks starts to fly away on it. It's it's one of the great. It's, it's basically it would be a Schweppes classic catch if they still had that, uh, and it gets it gets the response it deserves too. Oh, Bruiser, she's they don't get away from Bruiser. Don't worry about her. Is there any sort of suggestion of foul play by, I don't know, somebody growing one really sharpened fingernail and just sort of leaning against someone's artwork? And I mean, because it can all be undone yeah. with a pop, right? There, well, they checked us, they frisked us for pins uh, every morning when we went in there because <laughs> Becky Lucas and I, we're basically just children. And, and look, you know, there's a bit of arrested development going on with everyone in this show, quite frankly. But Becky and I, uh, it's kind of a bit sad that we're both, neither of us have matured enough to not be tested for pins and sure. needles and um, sharp knives and all that sort of stuff. That's just to protect ourselves from each other. But. Um, yeah, look, it's um, it is it's, it's it's such a great show and such a great celebration of creativity and um, and artistry. It's uh, it's about to um, yeah. I think I think Australia's going to be extremely surprised at what people can do with balloons. Where do you well, where the, did you find yeah. them? That's the thing. Where do you find them? Where do we find them at the same convention? <laughs> Um, there were 10 of them at this one convention and we said we put them in a van. We said there was food in the back of the van. Yeah, yeah. So we just food and balloons. Them, heard of them. Food and balloons. Pillow slip over the head. Um, Off you go. Yeah, and so we just heard of them like cats um, into, a, into a van and drove them down to Melbourne. And there's still summer in the studio, I think. Oh, so I don't know yeah. if that convenes any human rights issues. No, but, um, no, no, they're yeah, in their happy place. They, no. They seem to enjoy it. They're getting on telly. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> yes. uh, sometimes it's all you can ask for. There's even a married bloom couple, a couple found a couple There is a married each couple. Um, and there's a woman yeah, that got Trevor married in a, in, in, in a balloon dress. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah Donna that's Paul, too too got married in a balloon dress. That's you you might much. say they're, um, they're into balloons. These people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> too much? In what way? way? And Trevor and Tammy Timmers are into each other. It's kind of a sickness. <laughs> they, 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 if they don't kiss for five minutes, they start crying. Um and mm, it's, that's it's, look, you know, love is great. Love is great. And, um, you know, they love balloons as much as they love each other. And uh, they're happy to show us both. All right. Yeah, well, you've sold us. Uh, blow up. A premieres tonight at 7.30 on Channel 7. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. It's always a pleasure. No worries, guys. Soon. I hope you enjoy the show and I hope Australia gets on board. Good on Bye. you, buddy. Catch Take care. Soon. The Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Last quarter. Purple Army from the Bankwest Best Seats in the House. Right up for grabs. Two premium Bankwest Best Seats to Saturday Arvo's footy game between Freo and the Cats. And Sean has declared, uh, unfortunately for you, Fremantle, that Fremantle will win. They're on the roll, mate. Time to go solo. They'll be winning. Four questions, four quarters, last man standing. Mm -hmm. You know you've just jinxed them, right? You know how, how good you are at this? I'm shocking. Um, <laughs> uh, clashing in the first quarter is Kylie from Burragoon and Julie from Inglewood. Hi, Kylie. Hi, how are you today? Wonderful. Fantastic, mate. Are you bringing your A game? 
Absolutely, always. Okay. Only mm. All right. Well, you're right. up against Julie. Mm. Hi, Julie. Hi, how are you going? Good, Julie. Julie, are you bringing your A game? Oh, I hope so. Ooh. I hope so for it's my Kylie sake. Kylie sounded more a... confident. Yeah. I know she did, didn't she? Mm. Damn Kylie. Damn Kylie. <laughs> Damn All right, Kylie. here's what's going to happen, ladies. The first quarter, one question. If you get this right, you'll go through to the next quarter. Um, you need to buzz in with your name if you think you know the answer. Get it right, you're through the next quarter. Get it wrong, uh, you're out. Let's test your buzzers, Kylie. Kylie. Julie. Surely. Working well. Working very well. First quarter of the last quarter. Mm-hmm. Stay with me. <laughs> Question number one. Who is the on-again, off-again girlfriend of Kermit the Frog? Kylie. Kylie. Uh, Miss Piggy. Absolutely <laughs> correct. Kylie, oh, you, you are... Seem- through to the second quarter. Sounds a bit nervous that about that. It seemed like a thing. I know. Yes. I know. But that's a given. Yes. I would have thought so. He's no. never dated anyone else. No. no. <laughs> All right. Second quarter. Carly, you're up against Dave from Rockingham. Hello, Dave. Hello. Hey, Welcome, Dave. Dave. Right, Dave. Let's check your buzzer. Dave. Dave. Okay, All working right. well. Second quarter question. Here we go. What is the nickname of the Port Adelaide Football Club? Are you two for real? This is embarrassing. Ivan knew this. Dude. Oh, God. Um, Kylie. Kylie? A magpie? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that... that. Technically. <laughs> no, we're not playing no it. Idea. The AFL, we're talking about no, the yeah, AFL. Yeah. So the Port uh, Adelaide magpies are in the SANFL. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that means uh, Carly got it wrong, so um, Dave's through. It's the power. Oh, look yes. it. It's the power. Dave, you should be ashamed of yourself. Why do I know that? Yes. You don't. Koshi is outraged. They won six in a row. <laughs> um, all right, third quarter, it's Dave v. Maria from Eden Hill. Hello, Maria. Hello. Maria. All right, Weber. let's test yes, your buzzer, Weber. Maria. Maria? <laughs> Maria. Okay. Oh, well, you sound really <laughs> downtrodden on me, too. Maria. <laughs> Come on, Maria. We know the level that you guys are working at today, so we've got an appropriate question. Okay. Here we go. Third quarter question. How many quarters are played in an AFL game? Dave. Oh, Dave. Four. Hey, <laughs> solid comeback. How'd you get that? Oh, that was, that was the trickiest one of all time. All right. Easy, easy. Dave, you've made it to the last quarter. I know. If you win the last quarter, you win the last quarter. Okay. And you're up against Ricky from Edgewater. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning. Oh, Ricky. Okay, Ricky. Ricky. In the history of last quarter, um, there tends to be um, a pattern of someone sort of championing the way through a couple of the yes. quarters and yeah. winning the end. Mm-hmm. So, and, and and at the end, upstart is yeah a swooper in or up is, is mm. not really seen too often. But no, it's possible. We've seen, We've seen it happen, haven't we, guys? Ricky, let's test your buzzer, Ricky. Ricky, lovely, working well. Here we go with the last quarter question. Here we go. For the game. According to Miley Cyrus, in her song Flowers, she can hold her own what? Dave. Yes, Dave. Uh, Ricky. Dave. Microphone. <laughs> Dave. I'd normally do that at home. Dave, you've gotten it wrong. Rick, Ricky, what do you want to say? Uh, hand? Yeah. <laughs> you'd won anyway because Dave, Dave thought that. Dave, I love your little guest then. Yeah, uh, she's a singer. She'd have a microphone. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and of course, she'd sing about Ricky, it. Ricky, you're officially a swooper in her. Uh, you have scored two premium Banquets <laughs> best things oh, Saturday Arvo's footy game between Freo and the Cats, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Food and drinks included, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky, 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 Oh, my goodness. Oh. I am so excited. Yeah, yeah bad luck, Dave, oh, you massive loser. Good luck, Dave. <laughs> wow. Dave, the microphone. Did I get know, him over the line. I know. Did not get him over the line. The microphone? Uh, the good news is that all five callers are in the running for Nova's 10K a day as well. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Mother's Day, of course. Everyone got to, a lot of mums got to celebrate that. Um, all of us celebrated our mums, no doubt. Oh, I was Nate? in bed sick. Oh, yeah. I felt like a monster. 
Yeah. You give Marlene a call, no doubt. And then Dad um, then Dad said, don't worry, I've looked after her. Oh, I went up. Jesus. No, Dad, Dad went and got her a, a big brekkie, um, br- oh, a a big breakie, no, um, breakfast thing from um, Hungry Jack's, you know, the wraps? Oh, yeah. Okay. A big brekkie wrap. And then um, he, went up there, he went up there with a voucher that um, oh. meant they were $5 each. And then the person said, oh, these aren't, we're not um, allowing these in WA anymore. So then Dad had to pay the full price, which oh, was about Brian. $16. <laughs> it was and um, all he did was come home and complain about it. Yes. So he told me more about the the fact that he had to pay full price than he did about the fact that he went and did something nice for mum. Mm-hmm. Actually, You're a very yeah. lucky woman, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> um, yesterday uh, we had footy commitments and um, I ended up going, My one of my sons um, broke his hand so I had to take him to the hospital. So yes. that part of Mother's Day had a bit of action going on. But there was only one thing Megan wanted as a gift and that was um, some perfume. She wanted yes. some Giorgio Armani I think it's Aqua Geo or something. Oh. So she G-I-O. told you exactly what she wanted, right? Yeah, 100%. And where to get it? Yep. Uh, she said she didn't want all the other stuff that I normally get, or all the other bits and pieces, but just get me this from Chemist Warehouse, 150 bucks, okay, well. and I'll be happy as. Chemist Warehouse. Remember we used to go to um, Duty Free to get um, cheap yeah. um, after That's got nothing on <laughs> Chemist Warehouse. Yeah. Everyone's just going there, not for um, Panadol and the like. <laughs> 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 going there for it's weird, isn't it? It's from Gina Liana. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, when I, got, when I um, went to the one in Mossy Park, I, uh, I uh, grabbed it. And I thought I was an absolute hero. No yeah, problem at all. Just go and buy a little bag from the news agency to put it yep. in. I didn't have to wrap gift it. Just bag. One yep, gift bag. Yeah, beautiful. And so when she woke up, I gave it to her yesterday. She said, beautiful, just exactly what I wanted. Fantastic. Oh, how did, how did you know? Oh, because yep. you told me directly and where to get it from. And then she opened it up and she goes, this is the women's one? I said, of course it is. I asked the guy at mm. the thing. Um, I need my wife for Mother's Day. And I had got the men's version. You bought her men's fragrance. Fragrance. Well, look. wasn't Father's Day, Sean. <laughs> Here's the deal. You nearly close. Got it right. I was pretty close. <laughs> yeah, and that, uh, if you can, just, if you can nearly get it right, then I, that's okay. You did all the right things. You went there. You heard, listened to why. You just, you know, you just failed. At I the love end. the fact that she couldn't have been more Specific. explicit. She gave you the exact thing of what she wanted, the exact place to go and get it, and you managed somehow to stuff that up. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, actually. I was actually a bit background. furious at myself. I, I tried really hard. I know. And the main reason I was trying hard to make sure she had a good day because I want her to treat me like a king when it comes mm, to Father's Day. Mm. So uh, I thought if I put it in and get the right Can't thing wait done. till you get some women's surf gear. <laughs> Is that Roxy? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. So so close, but an absolute fail at the end. Yeah, I think we should fail. look at what you did right rather than what you did wrong <laughs> in this scenario. Right, And I think you. that you're Appreciate an amazing it. husband. Appreciate it. So well, why don't we... I don't I don't think you're married to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Not your call. Uh, so I'm just going off what Sean tells me. Uh, yeah, okay, well, that is a solid... He says he's really good at husbanding. Reliable information. <laughs> um, why don't we talk to other people um, who have been in this scenario? So, yes. okay, you've, you've you've almost gotten it right. Like You, you were just, so close. You know, there's like one little thing, and the little thing's probably a little bit important, but <laughs> you almost one got it right. Let's celebrate those things you almost did well. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to give somebody $300. That's right, $300 to spend at Seashells Accommodation. You can Ooh. double your stay for free at Seashells. Book now at seashells.com.au plus anyone that gets on air with us. Of course. Nova's 10K a day in May. You'll be on the list for that. We want to know about that time. You were so close. Yeah. So close to getting it right. Tegan's in Gosnells. Hi, Tegs. Hi, guys. How are we? Great, Good, mate. Tegan. We are celebrating almost getting something right. What happened? Well, it was actually my darling husband that did this. Yeah. Um, it was our turn for Christmas dinner, and um, he decided he was going to cook that year. Everything was ready. Everything came out beautiful. Four hours later, my mother and my sister ended up in hospital with food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. What did he so, do? Yeah, what was poisonous? What did he do? He had actually cooked the chicken and the pork together in the oven. Yeah. And then he's taken them out and all the um, juices from the pork and the chicken have mixed together. It's all cross-contaminated and, yeah. Right, so the juices... in hospital with food poisoning. Because I thought that that the the poison would be cooked out of the... The, the juices, but obviously not. This is something we all should know about. <laughs> because um, they were in the same pan yes. hot yeah. and he's let them cool down as well. Oh, right. Um, and the meat's 
sat up on the bench and it's all cooled down. <laughs> so doing? when it's dropped, so when it's dropped below um, a certain temperature, yeah. it's cross contaminated. Wow! Look at that. The husband's in the background going, "No, no, it was the arsenic." <laughs> 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 oh, so close and yet so far. Yeah. Thanks, Deegan. Michelle, hello. Hi. Hi, Michelle. Okay, Michelle. When when um, were you so close? <laughs> um, this one was my husband. Mm. He um, <laughs> got what he thought were ballet tickets. Yep. Um, to go see the ballet yeah. and um, bragging about it to all his friends and told them all that he got tickets to stand out ballet, not realising it was a band. Oh, Oh, so he thought he was buying <laughs> ballet tickets, but he bought Spandau <laughs> ballet tickets. Yes. Do you like Spandau <laughs> ballet? Go so on. I was like, oh, I don't know who these people are. No, 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 this, is, uh, this is them. Oh, uh, look, we all know some of their songs. This is yeah. one of them. But like, you know, I don't, I don't want to go to see them, do I? Not <laughs> when I'm expecting to see dancing. <laughs> no, that's yeah. right. He bought you Spandau ballet. It's a new type of ballet. It's Spandau. Spandau. It's <laughs> the from, of the ballet from world. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, okay that's actually amazing. Thanks to Michelle. That's what we're talking about, 13, 24, 10. When you were so close to getting it absolutely perfect, but somewhere there was a little bit of a downfall. And it's a weird pattern emerging here. Yes. Uh, there is the Christmas dinner, which caused food poisoning, cooked by a man. Uh, <laughs> there is the tickets to the ballet, where he mistakenly bought tickets to Spandau Ballet, bought by a man. man. Jen, hello. And Jen, Jen. Has, Jen's, Jen's husband, has just hung up on her because <laughs> she was going to tell a story about a man. man. <laughs> now we're just padding until we can get another collar up. Mm. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 it's been a big day, hasn't it? Do, 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 do. Hi, Jen. Hello, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hello. She's back. Hello, Hi. Jen. How are you going? Good well, morning, guys. Love you guys. Bye. What happened, Jen? Oh, my husband is a gorgeous Scottish <laughs> man, um, does all the housework, can't fault him, but. He, a couple of years ago, I made a pumpkin soup, and um, I asked him to get a Vienna loaf from the shop. Um, he, and uh, I came home, and I said, oh, where's the Vienna loaf? And he says, oh, it's in the freezer. And I went, why? And he said, oh, I said, we're going to eat it fresh. And he brought a Vienna loaf ice cream. Yeah, like a Vienna loaf. I knew yeah. what he had bought. Right, yeah. And then, and, then, and then this weekend, he's done a few, but this weekend, because I'd lost my mum. So this was going to be my first Mother's Day without oh, my mum. So, yeah, so, you know, yeah, it's really, really struggling. And he lost his mum nearly five years ago. So he decided when he brought me a card, he was going to buy a card for his mum. And he came home and he said, I've got this beautiful card for my mum. It's got beautiful words on it. And I opened it, it took it out the envelope and it said, happy birthday, mum. Ah. <laughs> I went, oh, okay. <laughs> he said, oh, I just like the words inside. I said, didn't you read the front? And he said, no. no. <laughs> so he didn't read the front. Oh, well, it was almost, you know. So, I know. That's so he took stuff. it and he put it with his mum in the bedroom and all his sisters were crying their eyes out. But I think more because he brought that a mother, a happy birthday card to him for five years. His heart's in the right place. You God bless what? him. I, I do really love you bringing on the Viennetta to yes. um, the table again. They yes. are, have you ever had, remember they yeah, were yeah, the yeah. fanciest yeah. thing as we a never, child? We never got there as yeah. a family. We never had yeah. a Viennetta. We yeah. weren't that never fancy. So no, if we you, never if, did. If your parents ever won a lotto or something like that, you know, a bit of money, that you get a Viennetta and it was so Chinese amazing. Chinese takeaway um, in a Viennetta. Viennetta. So you should really, everyone give it a go still. And Google on YouTube how they make a Viennetta, and you'll be ma- you'll be amazed. It's mesmerising all those folds. And oh stuff. Yeah, okay, mate. yeah, beautiful. All right, thank you, Jen. Uh, Sarah, hello. Hi, how hello, you going, Sarah. guys? Oh, all great. right, Sarah, talk to us. What did you? Uh, almost get well, from us? it was it was me that had the uh, brain fart. Finally, <laughs> finally, it wasn't a husband. What a woman. She's no, a it was me, and I'll openly admit it. Okay. Um, my husband and I had um, booked. Well, I had booked tickets to see uh, the comedian Isaac Butterfield a few years ago, yep. uh, and we thought we'd make a night of it. Booked a hotel room in the city, shipped the kids off to Nonny's place. Um, mm-hmm. Went to book into the hotel that afternoon, and they said, "Oh, that booking was for last night." Oh, oh. and I went, "Oh god!" And then I looked at the tickets for the for the uh, for the gig as well. That was also the night before. Oh, Sarah. So you, you it was non-refundable. Yeah, except for yep. the wrong day. Oh, non-refundable. So yeah, well, the concierge felt sorry for us, so he gave us a drink voucher to go over to the bar and drown our sorrows. <laughs> so, oh. um, as I was having, uh, as I was, you know, crying into my merlot, um, I look over and Isaac Butterfield the comedian we were going to see was sitting at the bar. Oh, 
So what happened? And my husband went over to him and told him what had happened, and he just goes, oh, don't worry about that. I'll just put your name on the door. Oh. Because he was having another gig that night. Oh, no, he was amazing. It was so good. So we ended up double paying for a, a different hotel, but yeah, the night wasn't completely ruined. Oh, but yeah, it to was. Be honest, it was though, if I saw him at that bar, I would have said, "Well, we're here yes, now. Do we've got the accommodation. For come back yeah, to come our room. Joke. <laughs> yeah. Tell me a joke. We'll lie back on the bed and just like watching TV." <laughs> <laughs> but he was he was so lovely about it, and and I was just bawling my eyes out. I looked like a mess, but yes. yeah, in the end, he ended up laughing at me, as did my husband and his and his manager. But it all worked out in the end. But yeah, oh, Sarah, was he able? It to... Was, did he work that into the show at all? Cause, cause, you know, no, no. I was I was waiting for it. I was yeah, waiting to be heckled from the stage. But yeah. no, he was he was gracious enough to not do that. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you, Sarah. Uh, Thank you. That was a happy ending. Yeah. It was a happy ending. Everyone we just spoke to is in the running for 10K a day in May. $300 to spend at Seashells Accommodation. Double your stay for free at Seashells. Book now at seashells.com.au. It's going to go to Jen telling the Vianetta story. I think oh, yep. everyone enjoyed that I one. just brought back that I love for Vianettas. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Coldplay are bringing their music of the Spheres World Tour to Perth's Optus Stadium, November 18th, 2023. Tickets go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Visit livenation.com.au. Up for grabs, a couple of tickets to go and see Coldplay when they hit uh, Optus Stadium in November for Music of the Spheres World Tour. Um, You've just got to play a round of Sky Full of Stars. Absolutely. We've got a couple of contestants. We've got a lot of people lining up, actually, to play, but we're going to start off with Amy. Good morning, Amy. Morning, guys. Hi, Amy. Amy. So, Amy, all you got to do is you've got to listen to the stars that are in the sky today for us. You're going to hear their voices. They could be, uh, like, celebrities' names or it could be a character that they mm. played. It's up to you. Oh, yeah, we'll accept either the, yep. uh, the uh, celebrity or their character. Yep. And you can mix them up mm-hmm. if you yep. like. Yep. Um, today, uh, Amy, there are three stars in the sky. All right. All right you okay. ready? Listen very closely. Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? No! Kelly Clarkson, I love her. All right, Amy, who are the stars? I have no idea about the first one. Mm. I'm going to stick Kelly Clarkson in there because, you know, her name was said. (laughs) Um, (laughs) And no, I'm useless. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Kelly well. Clarkson's a man. Yeah, well, it's not Kelly Clarkson Kelly saying Clarkson. her own name. No, it's a no. man. Thank you for playing. Claire, hello. Hello, good morning. All right, Claire. We're going to play the same three celebrities for you. Listen very closely. Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? No, Kelly Clarkson. I love her. Oh, Claire. Three names, Claire. We'll accept the oh. actor or the um, or the character. Um, I think one of them was Jim Carrey, uh, Seth MacFarlane. And I know he plays Michael Scott in the office, but I cannot think of his name. Okay. I You've love Michael Scott. Really Stop. hit on some stuff there. <laughs> mm, yes, you right? have. <laughs> yes, we can say that you have one of the names correct, but not in the right order. Exactly. Mm. And you're, okay. you're close, on, you're another close one. to another one, but not <laughs> quite there yet. <laughs> right. We move on to Ellie in Baldive. It's morning, Ellie. Hi, good morning. Hi, Hi, Ellie. Ellie. Trying to figure out our three stars. We do need the names okay. in order as well. Let's have another listen. Yeah. Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? No, Kelly Clarkson. I love her. All right, Ellie, for Coldplay tickets. Oh, my God. I have absolutely no idea. Ellie. 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 I know. We had a bit of work just I'm done shaking. for us. <laughs> yeah. No, you're out. So nothing. Wow. No, she's gone. Thank you for playing, Ellie. Let's move on to Jill from Padbury. Hi, Jill. Hi, how you going? Good, Jill. Jill sounds like she's up and about. I All think right. she's going to do a up. clean sweep. All right. Is she about? Do you want to hear the voices again? Here we go. Yeah, please, please. Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? No, Kelly Clarkson. I love her. All right, Jill, take it away. Uh, I'm going to say one Roger Rabbit, two Jim Carrey, and I'm stuck on the next 
next one I can think of. No, you're oh, stuck, that's fine. On, you're stuck, stuck on, on all of them. them. <laughs> 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 you can draw a line through Jim Carrey, everybody. Not Jim Carrey, any of them. We had just previously said one of the names have been guessed but not in yes. the right order. Okay, yes. are we stuck on Roger Rabbit or has he been ruled out oh, as well? Oh, no. We can rule Roger Rabbit Thank out you. as well. No way. Okay, Jody. hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Jody. Jody. Okay, let's hear the voices again. Here we go. Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? No! Kelly Clarkson, I love her. Righto, Jodie, trying to give away Coldplay tickets. We need the three names in order, please. Okay, it's the first one I'm stuck on, but I want to say Sylvester and then Seth Rogen and then Tom Cruise. (laughs) No, no and no. (laughs) (laughs) I know you tried to use one of the previous answers that was correct, but you got that wrong. (laughs) Elizabeth is yes, in Forestville. Well Hi, Elizabeth. The spot. Hi, how are you going? Good, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, we are trying to give away Coldplay tickets here. You yeah. don't sound convinced you know the names, Elizabeth. No, I don't. All right, well, how about we listen to the voices one more time? Here we go. Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? No, Kelly Clarkson! I love her! All right, Elizabeth, take it away. I have no idea. So sorry. All the best for the future, Thank you Elizabeth. for playing, Elizabeth. Jasmine, hello. Hello. Hi, Jas. Jasmine. We're trying to give away Coldplay tickets. It's proving very oh, difficult. Very difficult. All right, well, listen to the voices again. Here we go. Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? No! Kelly Clarkson! I love her! Jasmine? All right, so I have Peter Griffin, uh, Steve Carell, and I'm not sure my last one, but... Tom Cruise. We can confirm that you have two of the names correct in the right order. Oh! Two of the names. Jasmine. Oh. Jasmine. Two thirds of the way there. Oh, all right. Just losing the last one. Yes. Jess is in Auburn Grove. Morning, Jess. Morning. I Hi, feel Jess. like Jasmine has done some solid groundwork for you. You're two thirds well, of the way there. To Coldplay yeah. tickets. All right, here we go. Have a listen. Yep. Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? No! Kelly Clarkson! I love her! And we're going to take the character name or the actor's name. Jess, give us the three names. Oh, no, I'm, I'm really stuck on that third one, too. <laughs> um, yes, Peter Griffin, Steve Carell, and uh, I just have no idea of that third one. Have a guess, anyone? Come quick. Uh, quick? Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You really don't wow, know. That is tough. We can confirm uh, two were correct. Yes. And she only gave us two, so that's all right. that's two. So let's just call a spade a spade. We know what the first two are. <laughs> yes, we're yeah. looking yes, for the last one. We need the last one. Larissa, come on. This is your chance to swoop in. Hello. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi, Larissa. Hi, Larissa. Right. We're going we're gonna to okay, play the them best. again. Oh, hey, wait. Okay. We'll play them again. Here we go. Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? No! Kelly Clarkson! I love her! All right, we'll take the character or the actor... Give us the three names. All right. The first one, Peter Griffith. Mm-hmm. Yes. The second one, Steve Carell. Mm-hmm. And the third one is Neil Patrick Harris from How I Met Your Mother. Great guess. But it is not. No, it is not. It is not. Ah! It is not. But you're in, no. this, you're in the... The realm, the realm of things. The no, realm. No, it's not it's, the right show no, or anything. No, it's <laughs> but like, you're in the right realm. Uh, Amy's in Heatridge. Hello, Amy. Hello, how are you? Amy, we think it's time for a clue. Do you want a clue? Um, yes. Please. Okay. <laughs> Who would say this no? It's a pretty simple clue. Okay, I think Nathan's going to give Nathan. you the clue. He's going to deliver the yeah. clue. Are you ready? Here we yeah. go. All right, yeah. ready? Okay, pretty obvious. Give us. Uh, let's have a listen to the three three voices. Yep. Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? No! Kelly Clarkson! I love her! Righto, Amy, for Coldplay tickets, who are the three voices? Okay, we've got Peter Griffin, mm-hmm. Steve Carell, yep. and Chandler Bing. Hey! You got it, Amy. Was it the clue or did you already know? I already knew. I, already I knew, knew that one before the other two. And then the oh, clue was... Friends, from, from the, the friends song, friends. Of course. from the friends song. Uh, Amy, you are off to see Coldplay's Music of the Spheres World Tour this November at Optus Stadium. Two tickets, well played.
Amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks, well, that was a big success. Hey, that everybody good. that we spoke to, even the people that got said, I've got no idea. Are you joking? Oh, They're in the running 10K. 10K I think that? we need to rule a line for them. <laughs> <laughs> They're offering Fulfilled nothing. Fulfilled the obligation of getting on air. That's all it takes. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. John, we've done a lot today, so... Ooh. Ross, Heavy lifting. It's your turn. <laughs> Hi, Ross. Oh, wait, there's got to be Hello, sorry, I didn't put my, didn't put my okay. desk on it. Don't worry about it. Um, go to the podcast today. Funniest uh, Sean sport I've ever heard with Pav. Pretty much it's Sean for four minutes talking about how he hates halftime oranges yep. and how he wants to yell at eight-year-olds. Does everyone get on board the orange thing? Yeah. No. Oh. But I, I, but I 200% um, get on board with the yelling at eight year <laughs> Thank you, sir. Find an eight-year-old today and yell at You'll feel better about that. You know what I mean? Go out there and have a go. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.